Good morning. I'm Dr. Kemi Lawyer, and I think it's almost um, maybe one o'clock in Nigeria. I just woke up here on my side. Um, wanted to let you know that um, everything I wrote in the last few days on Facebook, X, and Instagram about Davido's marriage, wedding, um, mental health. I heard Nikki Mudia death this morning please go read it on those platforms and i'm sincerely like upset about many things but i can't afford to be i'm in my own world right now i'm going to cut down on many things i told you i'm selling kemi talks but um it's a hard thing to disassociate with the social media crowd because you don't know how it's going to affect them there are people who are going to cry and people who are going to I don't know, mentally go crazy because of the PSI. Remember I told you about PSI, parasocial interaction. When people have this interaction with famous people, mostly in the mass media, journalists, and they think they know us. Like, I don't know any of you, but some people are so tightly connected to me. They talk to me in the comments all the time, so they feel that I'm their friend. And when I now break away, there's an issue. It's a mental issue. So please go and read Parasocial Interaction on Wikipedia. This morning, I want to talk about VDM. Very dark man, Martin Vincent Otsie, how you pronounce it. VDM has a controversy going on right now on social media. And as for me, I want to like dissociate from a lot of things. I'm in my little spiritual world, and I'm going to be doing a lot of spiritual teachings. I'm not religious, I do spiritual teachings because I believe this world is past, you know, religion. Um, I've never met him or never spoken to him, but VDM was aware that I was a Davido hater. So he stayed clear of me. I don't know if you guys remember the first time Davido spoke to him on a live, and I came on that live, and everybody was commenting, Dr. Kemi is here, Dr. Kemi, Dr. Kemi, and he didn't even look at you guys one time. That's why I said, leave things alone. Only time he's mentioned my name was when Karima said, how dare you question the paternity of Liam, I'm gonna sue you. I said, maybe you should sue Kemi alone lawyer first if she's telling the lie. That's the only time I heard my name mentioned. But I like VDM for his voice. We need more voices in Nigeria like him. There are some people that have the voice, okay? There was a young lady that I, sort of like I mentored her. She followed me since 2009 in Canada. Izzy Obede, you can see Izzy is doing videos now, giving advice and stuff. Izzy watched what I was doing and now she's doing it. She's been my friend on Facebook since 2009. That's a long time. She's a voice in Nigeria now. Blessing CEO, Saida Baj, VDM. Many people have voices, even Bob Risky and James Brown. But others don't have voices. They come on social media with fake accounts. They don't want to be known. You know, everybody has something they're hiding. But on the VDM matter, what I want to say is that VDM, leave it alone. I'm just telling you now as a journalist. Okay, leave Yabo and Paulo alone. Ignore them. If you and me arrested me three times, if you and me's boy was paying Yabo not to come to court so I can stay longer in prison. When I went to prison, when I was in prison, what I went through in prison, nobody can even fathom. I've not even told my story. Just in little short write-ups. I don't want to ever go back there. For Taco prison, any prison as a matter of fact, even America, Canada prison, okay? I was held seven days in a maximum women's prison in Canada before Canada deported me for that antagonizing of gun laws. And the seven days that I was there, it's like seven years, because you wouldn't like prison. That's Canada now. And the women I was in there with were seven at least 10 years or more, different crimes. So prison can change some things. When Nigerian prisons, just Google it, Nigerian prisons turn you into an animal. Okay, and put Oshimbaju's name on the Google search, and you'll see all the articles that will come out after I came out and I told my experience to the Minister of Interior. VDM, 
Nobody said you should be afraid of Yabo Apollo. Nobody said you should not speak your mind. Okay, I will blast Yabo any day. Yabo can petition anybody to come and arrest me. Tonto has petitioned twice. I didn't show up. There's nothing she can do. A journalist does not give any source of anything. We protect the source. But at the end of the day, in your case, VDM, you have a case with Yabo. They gave you bail. I don't know the parameters of that bail, but they're watching you. One of the parameters of my own bail, and why they didn't want to give me bail the first time, was because they said, the pen is mightier than the sword. This is a phrase in journalism. You can kill the journalist, but you can't kill the story. They thought I would write about Ibiomi and bad things again. That's why they kept me. And when I got the bail, I was told not to write anything about Ibiomi. I don't know the parameters of your own bail, the conditions, but part of that condition should be not talking about Iyabo at all. Because you have a case with her in court. It's going to be a trial, I guess. So please, VDM, they might arrest you the third time and they will go there and deny you bail. The police prosecutors will have a lot of evidence for that judge to watch. Remember, this is electronic media that we're putting our voice, our face, everything on. Okay, now she's going to say you slandered him, her. Okay, now, Paulo is saying his own because he's just protecting his girlfriend. Um, Obi Kubana has entered. And Obi is shading a bunch of you guys. Obi is shading a particular blogger who always gives you, you know, posts. I think that would be Tunde Ednot. Okay, if Obi is shading Tunde Ednot now, um, giving you airtime or giving you posts, you know, it's you he's referring to on Tunde. You know, and I think what Obi said, you have to now look at people's ages because something about what Obi said makes sense. As in, a lot of young people are disrespecting their elders. Now, uh, Martin, you are 30. Your boy is 45, I believe. So 15 years is pretty much elder as in, she's older than you, 15 years. I am going to be 60 next month. And Yabo was also rude to me a lot. I'm not her mate. A lot of you can see what happens in the DM with me and Yabo. I made her, okay, talk to me on voice notes, and I told her to post those voice notes. I gave her the permission to do that. I haven't posted my own side of those voice notes, what she said to me. I don't have the time. I'm retired as a journalist now. But a lot goes on in the DM. Like Yabo fronts in front of her fans. Fronting means showing off, calling people names. What in the DM should be there apologizing to me? Yabo, you can share bear, you know that. So it's the same thing that's going on with Yabo and I that's going on with VDM and Yabo. Some people said older people have to have respect for themselves before they demand respect. Yeah, but I respect myself. I'm only on social media for one thing, my money. I give you the work. I give you the free information and I collect my money and I leave. There's nothing else I'm doing on social media. That's why I'm selling my company. Okay, and I'm going to buy something else with the money when I get that. And you'll see what it is. But at the end of the day, what I'm saying right now is VDM, you have a lot to lose. Okay, don't talk about it. You have a lever. Okay, if you want to shade a shade in her, they didn't invite you. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's good. Free speech. I'm a blogger too. I'm still a blogger. People just don't know. I didn't retire from blogging. I'm not blogging. I retired from journalism. If I wanted to start a blog today, I make it anonymous. I'll make lots of money. And you wouldn't know it's me writing all this stuff. But I don't have the energy and time. So what I want to tell you right now is you can blast the Yabo, but when it comes to her boyfriend and everybody else entering... Yeah, but Dragon Davido, don't get complicated with it. Don't answer the boyfriend. You've been answering Paulo. Oh, yeah, I don't worship money. Leave them alone. Nigeria works with money. You saw how much money they were sweeping into the trash in Davido's wedding and his dollars. All you need is some money and some powerful people 
and will arrest you the third time. Be careful, VDM.